Each week, we offer a fresh set of quizzes to be played at the Dev Gym, and these are first offered as tournament quizzes. What does it mean to be a tournament quiz? Let's see. So I'm going to pick the Peel SQL Challenge quiz. When I click on it, I see a page that I don't usually see for many of the other quizzes that you can play from the library. Basically, you're given an opportunity to decide when you want to start taking the quiz, because timing is important when you're competing, and you get to decide whether or not you want your answers to be ranked. So the idea behind our weekly tournaments is that you can choose to play ranked or competing against other developers around the world. And then the top 50 player ranked across the entire year compete in our annual championship for top prizes and recognition. So when you first click on a link to play a tournament quiz, you'll be given the opportunity to read instructions, read the assumptions for the quiz you're about to take. Again, useful when you want to have this all in your head before you start the timer. You can determine at this point whether or not you want to have your answers ranked. You might want to take this quiz but not play competitively. That's perfectly fine. You can also decide if you want to see this launch page again in the future. Once you've seen it a few times, you're probably ready to just go right in. I'm going to keep these set to yes. Then I click on take the quiz. And at this point, it's just like taking any other quiz. You read the code. You look at the different choices. You decide which ones are right and wrong. One of the differences you'll find with our competitive quizzes, our tournament quizzes, is that you can't copy the code and paste it in to your editor and run it. These are images. So you really do have to read the code and figure out what it does. That way we avoid shortcuts and otherwise known as cheating. So you make your choices. You submit your answer. And the other difference with tournament quizzes is that you do not see the results until the end of the week. So you can see the quiz. You can see which of the choices you selected with the check marks. But we don't tell you which ones are right and which ones are wrong. Again, we want to wait till everybody has a chance to take the quiz. And then when the, the tournament ends for that week, we display the rankings and the results. You can see the rankings by going to the leaderboard. Click on Tournament Rankings. You'll see the rankings for each week across each of the domains. You get to pick what you want to see. You can also say, well, I'd like to see how people are doing in SQL for the year. In 2017, which is where we have our ranking set so far. We can see that Stelios was ranked first, and so on. The top 50 players are the ones who will compete in our annual championships. Let's go back to the tournaments tab now, instead of the home page. You can see the same weekly quizzes for the tournaments. Notice I've taken one, and I've got three more I can take. And again, if I click in again, say to Dynamite Database Design, pick my choices, submit my answer, and so on. You can see past tournaments that you've taken and drill down in to see the results. You can also go to the tournament archive and scan through all the quizzes we've offered as tournament quizzes for many years to come. This site first began in 2010, so you can basically go back and see how you did in the different quizzes taken in the past, check out the discussions, the comments, links to similar quizzes, and so on. So tournaments can either be for you as a competitive player, you want to see how you stack up against other developers around the world, or it can simply be, this is a new quiz of the week, I want to play it, but I don't want to be ranked. And whatever values you set on that launch page, you can always go into your settings and change them. So for example, if you said, I don't want to see my launch page, you can turn it back on here, and then you'll be given the opportunity to turn on or off rankings for that quiz. So tournaments are a great way to complement your general learning experience with your library of quizzes, with your workouts, and with your classes. If you want to take a step up and see how you compete against others, take these tournaments every week. Make sure you're ranked nice and high, and then you get to compete in our tough annual championships.